Good morning, viewers. Thank you for watching Delta TV and uh, the Tsome program. I'm Tichana Nanyas Harriet, and I'm going to take you in P250, Stock 3, Geography of Uganda and Field Work. And like we did yesterday, I would like us to first have these guiding questions account for the variation in the volume of fish catch from the water bodies in Uganda. Account for the variation in the volume of fish catch from the water bodies in Uganda. That question requires us to first give the status of fishing in Uganda, draw the sketch map of Uganda showing the major fishing grounds, give and explain the reasons why there is high fish catch on Lake Victoria and Lake Choga and low fish catch on Lakes Albert, George, Edward and others. For every point you give, you must show all right uh, the distinguishing words like while, but compared to, whereas, on the other hand, however, and the others. Then for every point you give, you must give an example or examples with their locations. Thereafter, you'll be required to give the conclusion. There we go. The status of uh, the fishing industry in Uganda. The 60% of the fish caught in Uganda is consumed while still fresh. At just 40%, is preserved using preservation methods like uh, deep freezing, frying, smoking, sand drying, and salting. And uh, we shall find out that the biggest fishing ground in Uganda is uh, Lake Victoria in Wakiso. Uh, we, it is followed by Lake Choga uh, in Kayunga. Then the other fishing grounds include Lake Albert, Lake George, uh, Lake um, Edward and many others. The technology used in the fishing industry in Uganda is still rudimentary, it is traditional. The fishermen usually use uh, basket traps, they use uh, hooks or hooking, but of recent they have also introduced modern methods of fishing like long lining, and gill netting. Then when we move to the preservation methods, they are also using traditional methods uh, like smoking, like uh, sorting, and sand drying. But of recent, there has also been the introduction of uh, deep freezing. And many fishermen move with the ice in insulated uh, boats when going for fishing in the lakes. Uh, we shall also find out that the major fish products which are exported to outside uh, countries are uh, fish fillet, fish oil, we have also uh, fish skin and others. And the major market of fish uh, and fish products from Uganda uh, is European Union. And I believe all of us know some of the examples of the countries found in the European Union. But even fish caught in Uganda is usually exported to our neighbors like South Sudan, like DR Congo. That is what I can give uh, about uh, uh, the status of uh, fishing in Uganda. The question is asking us to account for the, before we look at the accounting for the variations, after you have given the status, uh, I will request you to always, to always draw a sketch map showing the major fishing grounds in Uganda. And when uh, you have drawn this map, please endeavor to indicate all the major fishing uh, grounds, starting from the lakes. And we have our major lake, Victoria, we have Choga, we have uh, Edward, Edward, and uh, we have Edward and uh, George, and even Lake Albert. As you draw these, uh, as you indicate these fishing grounds, endeavor to put there at least four 
all three landing sites. We have the Majanje landing site on Lake Victoria in Busia. We have uh, Masese uh, in uh, Jinja. We have uh, Kasenyi in Wakiso. We have uh, uh, Mizinda in Rakai. We also have uh, uh, Pasenso in uh, Rakai. We have uh, Dimu. We have um, uh, we have um, Goma. We also have another landing site called uh, Lambu in Masaka. Then when we move to uh, Lake Albert, we can easily see in Toroko and in Toroko. We have uh, Butiaba in Hoima. We have Wanseko in uh, Hoima uh, and also uh, and also Bulisa in in. in Bulisa is found in Bulisa, in Bulisa. Then when we move to Lake Edward, we can see our Renshama. We have very many other landing sites there. Then include there the rivers, the major rivers which are acting as major fishing grounds in Uganda. We have River Katonga in Mpiji. We have our River Nile in Kayunga, the Albert Nile in the West Nile districts like Zombo, uh, like Nebi, like um, Arua and Moyo. Then in, on this map, endeavor to indicate the fishing ponds. We shall realize that in Uganda of recent, there has been the introduction of fish farming and very many businessmen have established fish farms. And among the fish farms uh, or ponds that we have in Uganda, we have our common one, the Kajas ponds in Wakiso. We have uh, Nkoma ponds in Ibale, Palisa ponds in Palisa, Igang ponds. We have Chitangala ponds. Chitangala ponds are found around here in Nakasongola. We have Chiboga ponds. We have Kavale ponds. Kavale ponds and many others. Then we have also fishing being carried out around the uh, swamps. The lacustrine swamps, which are around the lakes, especially uh, around Lake Victoria and uh, the Lake Choga, where we have Rampanga in, in Rampanga in, in Nakasongola, we have our Galiraya in, in, in Kayunga. On uh, Lake Victoria, we have very many uh, swamps. We have Nabugabo Swamp in Masaka, Lambu Swamp in, in Masaka. We also have uh, Sango Bay Swamp in Kasensero and many others. Then we have the river rain swamps along the major rivers. They have also been very important in as far as the development of fishing is concerned. After you have drawn that map, please when you're doing this map, respect the qualities of a good map. Always write the title, show the, uh, the, the north direction, include the boundaries. This is South Sudan, not Sudan. It is South Sudan. We have Kenya in the east. We have the Congo. We, we, these ones are well known to each of us. Now, can we move to the question now, to the gist of the question? It is asking us to account for the variation in fish uh, catch from the different lakes in Uganda. That question is uh, not very hard. One thing you need to know that Fishing is uh, importantly carried out uh, along Lake Victoria, and it is our major fishing ground. Actually, the total fish catch from that lake accounts for about 48%, followed by Lake Choga, which uh, has a percentage of about 38%. When you total up, we are going to come up with the 86%. Then 4% uh, is from Lake uh, George and Edward, the 8% is from Lake Albert, and the remaining 2% goes to the other fishing grounds. Meaning that Lake Victoria and Lake Choga have the highest tea volume of fish caught in Uganda. And the, the other fishing grounds have a low fish catch. What brings about that difference? Why is it that there is higher catch from Lake Victoria and Lake Choga and low catch from Albert, George and Edward. One, Lake Victoria is Lake Victoria and Choga are big lakes. And so they have a bigger surface area for fish breeding. Bring about the higher catch. 
compared to Lake Choga, sorry, Lake Albert, Lake uh, George, Lake Edward Kazinga Channel, and many other fishing grounds, which have a low surface area or a small surface area leading to low to the low catch. Then we shall find out that uh, Lake Victoria and Choga are surrounded by uh, uh, by various swamps, and they have also indented coastlines or shorelines. These indented shorelines and the swamps have been paramount in the uh, breeding of fish. And so there is always the multiplication of fish around those two lakes, bring about the higher catch. Compared to uh, the other lakes, uh, Choga, uh, sorry, Albert, George, Edward, which are Rift Valley lakes, so they have uh, a steep or a straight indented line, which cannot act as a proper breeding place for fish, bring about a low uh, fish catch. Then we shall also agree that uh, Lake Victoria has abundant uh, planktons. It has uh, abundant planktons. Planktons is just uh, food for fish, and Lake Victoria has uh, a large amount of planktons which have made it possible for the multiplication of fish around that area and so bring about higher catch. While the other uh, lakes, the other, uh, the other water bodies like Albert, like George, have a limited uh, number of planktons which has brought about a low catch. We shall also agree that uh, Lake Victoria and uh, Choga uh, are located in areas which are densely populated and so there is a large market for fish. This has uh, encouraged many businessmen to cut out fishing because they know that they will be able to sell their fish at the time of harvest. And so we are having higher catch uh, around Lake Victoria and the Choga because of the dense population in Kayunga, Mukono, Jinja, Wakiso, Kampala, Masaka, Mpiji, and more others. And so, leading to a high catch compared to, uh, to Lake Albert, George, Edward, Kazinga Channel, and more other lakes, which are situated in areas which are either moderately populated or sparsely populated. And uh, at, the end of the day, at the end of the day, we are going to see low catch uh, from those uh, Area. Then these uh, two lakes, the Victoria and the Choga, uh, <coughs> have been uh, situated in areas where we have rich investors who have abundant capital to invest in fishing. They can afford to buy uh, the modern fish here. They can afford to hire uh, skilled labor. They can afford to advertise uh, their businesses. And at the end of the day, we are seeing a higher catch from Lake Victoria and even from Lake uh, Choga. While around Lake Albert, Lake George, Lake um, Edward, and other lakes, we have poor investors. Investors who do not have enough funds to invest in fishing. And at the end of the day, their catch is going to be lower as compared to the one uh, uh, caught from Lake Victoria and Choga. Then in this uh, region where these two lakes are located, I'm referring to uh, Choga and uh, Victoria, the uh, there is high use of modern fishing methods. They are using motorized boats, they use gear netting method, they use uh, long lining method, which are commercial uh, fishing methods, which bring about higher catch compared to uh, the traditional methods used the, uh, on Nick Albert, on George, on Edward and therefore a lower catch as compared to the one that is caught from Lake Victoria. And then even we are going to find out that uh, the uh, major fishing grounds, uh, let me say Victoria and the Choga, have uh, been connected with modern transport routes, which has made it possible for 
the transportation of uh, fishing gear to the learning sites and also and also uh, the fish to the market. A case in example is the uh, Le, uh, Masese Road connecting Jinja to Masese. And this one has uh, made it possible for the fishermen to sell their fish to the uh, nearby markets like Jinja, Mukono, and uh, Kampala. We shall also find a modern road that has been constructed from off Kampala and Tebe Road called Nabagereka Road. That Nabagereka Road is connecting Kasanyi Landing Site and this has made it possible for people from, for the fishermen to sell their fish uh, to the nearby markets of Entebbe, Kampala and others. If you moved to Raka, you find Pinto Road, which is connecting Kasense to Fish Learning Site. And therefore, there is a higher catch from Lake Victoria compared to the uh, Rift River Lakes like Edward, which are connected with the uh, undeveloped transport network. Then again, the area where these major fishing grounds are located is a bit secure. There is a, a security around those lakes. And so fishermen do not have any problem. They do not have any fear of getting, uh, uh, getting problems in as far as destroying their uh, fishing gear, uh, maybe the pirates taking away their fish, uh, their gear, and the like. But when you move to the west, uh, the western part of Uganda, where we have our Albert, George, and Edward, the place is always insecure. You, when you, if you can remember what happened in the mid '90s, there was uh, the ADF insurgence in those areas. So many business people ran out from that place, bring about a low catch. Recently, we had what we call the Renzururu insurgency. And so, fishing could not take place around those lakes uh, because of insecurity, bringing about a low catch. Then, uh, there, are, there are also differences in uh, research. You agree with me that because Lake Victoria and uh, George, uh, sorry, Lake Victoria and Kyoga are located in uh, densely populated areas, the has been a lot of research that has been carried in the, the fishing industry. That's why we have a lot of fish farming around Kampala, around Wakiso, Jinja, and Mukono. We've just talked about the ponds. We are seeing our Kajans ponds. There is a lot of fish farming there. Very many businessmen have uh, started uh, rearing fish. You've heard of, uh, uh, of um, Yuga chick also rearing fish. And so this has increased the catch around those lakes. Then we have what we call fish caging. Here many people have tried to get plots of uh, water, plots on Lake Victoria. And this has brought about to uh, sustainable use of Lake Victoria, increasing the catch around that place. But when you go to Lake Albert, Lake George, and the like, the fishing uh, industry is not well developed because there is limited research. The preservation methods around Lake Victoria are also modern. And so fishermen do not have any fear of their fish getting uh, uh, going bad because of poor preservation methods. And so we have methods like uh, icing or deep freezing. Uh, they are also using uh, sorting and sand drying. But when you move to uh, Albert, Edward, and other lakes, the preservation methods are rudimentary or they are traditional. They are using smoking, which usually uh, does not preserve f uh, fish for a long uh, time. And this discourages uh, uh, fishermen from, uh, from extracting higher, uh, higher catch. Then we have another question, which is uh, uh, explain the measures being taken to modernize the fishing industry in Uganda. The methods, sorry, the measures that have been taken to modernize the fishing industry in Uganda are quite many. Uh, we shall find out that fishing has always uh, 
uh, has always suffered from uh, the water weight, the water heightening. This has been uh, controlled by harvesting it mechanically or by using what we call the barrico method. They use the Benin beetle, like at uh, Masese landing site, or Lake Victoria in Virginia, like at Kasensero landing site, or Lake Victoria in Rakai. This one has destroyed the weed, and now fish can easily uh, breed and multiply. Then there are.